It's powered by two Wright Cyclone 2600R radial, 14-cylinder radial engines. Second World War. Can I, can I teach you something here, Dave? Yes. Okay. So in Commonwealth here countries... Here it comes. Here it comes. We've got to listen to the song. Okay. Oh, uh, it's so maneuverable right now. Uh, this airplane is flying straight by for another pass. We'll listen to it. same thing we're doing today, but we do make it exciting for you. Looks like it's coming right at us. Bombay doors open. Straight from the drawing board in 1939, 1940, we sent them over. Who built them? Did women build them? Oh yes, yeah, all, all types of women. And you know what? Ferry pilots, women ferry pilots flew them and delivered them into wartime service. Uh, this this airplane was uh, built by North American in the States and uh, given to all the Allies. But yes, many women flew them. In fact, sometimes they would give a lady pilot, a ferry pilot, the manual and say, there's the airplane, take it to England. And she'd have to figure out how to get into it, how to start it, how to fuel it, how to check the oil, and then how to get to England. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. And she did it. And oh, did they ever. So if you're a female in the, in the audience, for the 52 percent of the population I'm not sure why we don't have any more women in the aviation industry six pucks on each wheel there's no metering so if you put your brakes on and then you would blow both tires immediately so you have to be very careful on your brakes and the nose gear is under is under designed a bit so when you land they try to keep the nose gear off the nose wheel off the runway for a little bit until you slow down. Are we on? No. Oh, we're back. We're back. Today uh, James Bradley is in the left seat uh, with Leon Evans our chief pilot in the right seat and we have Craig uh, front coach and Bill Craig is our engineer. Okay I'm sorry what was the first name of the pilot? Uh, we have James Bradley and Leon Evans. So, oh, Leon Evans. Yeah, well, yes. symbol of the town of Derbyshire in England, which where 98 squadron was based, right. but on the left side is a picture of a very oh, nice a girl in a bikini. Young lady, there we go. Uh, appropriately clothed. I'm not sure if no. that was the case in World War II. But. Veterans landed on the beach. That was just a great experience. So the 75th anniversary of Dieppe just happened, and speaking of the number 75. You know, we used to, uh, when I was in the Air Force, we used to do practice against the United States Air Force and exercises, and they always had better equipment and better uh, better radar, better detection systems. 
but you know what? We still can outsmart them. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, I love my American friends, but you know, when we were out playing, we played hard. Well, as a member of Canada's military, I tell you, you're right. We're, st we're still pretty awesome. Absolutely.